Hello everybody, I'm Don601, Ron Victor here, and this is literally the last video I think I'd ever make, which is a part two to the, to the slight figures that are coming out in 2019. If anything, I thought it would have been a video uh, on like more Pabble figures coming in 2019, which sadly it isn't, because the Papo catalogue was released and it doesn't show any more dinosaur figures, it just shows the figures we already know. So yeah, there's no Papo gig of the first for this year. But recently, I think it was London Toy Fair, I think? I don't know, it's, it was some kind of toy fair. Uh, I know because for Jurassic, for Jurassic Podcast uh, reported on it and it showed new figures, well... Well, specifically, he only showed one of the images, and I recently just went on Discord and found the images for the rest of the figures, thanks to Spino Dude. So anyways, we should probably get on with this, because I meant to be revising, because I have a biology test tomorrow, and, I, and instead I'm doing this, and I don't know which is more sad, the biology test, or the fact that I'm doing this. Okay, so as always, we're going to start off with my least favourite, and then build up to my favourite, as always, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it! Okay, so the first one we have is some kind of plesiosaur, and I personally think that this is the worst one out of Slyche's new selection out of his new four new figures. Mainly, f mainly for me, it's because it's the sculpt. I think the paint is decent. I like the white on the flippers, just things that throws me off about the paint is this sort of gloss or glitter on the back. I have no clue what that's even meant to be. And those sort of like tribal tattoos on the face because it, it just makes it look ridiculous. Now getting on to the sculpt, I think the flippers are a bit too big, but I'm probably wrong on that, they're probably the right size. So, so... So, so basically, don't listen to me on the flippers bit. But the thing I don't like is the face. But keep in mind, these aren't official promo images. These are just photos which which somebody has taken while at this toy fair. The thing I don't like about the face is how wide it is. Because because ah, because from the pieces of swords that I've seen, their heads are quite slim and narrow. But. Who knows, who knows, this might be a piece of sword that I haven't seen before, because there's plenty of them, um, hell, I have one myself that, that I keep on forgetting the name of, because I always just call it a plesiosaur. Yes, I am a noob, I am normie, because the thing is, I barely know anything when it comes to aquatic reptiles. Hell, I only own one aquatic reptile figure, but I do plan to pick up more in the future. So anyways, I, I don't plan to pick up this one, and... Let's just move on to the next one because I, because I, because the next few aren't that half bad, in my opinion. Okay, so next up we have the slight juvenile Giganotosaurus. Jesus Christ, that has a mouthful. And this and this figure has the same paint details as the other Giga coming out this year, like like there's the purple stripes. It has that sort of offish brown color. So, the thing is, this is a brand new sculpt, so I'm mainly going to focus on the sculpt of this one. The sculpt, in my opinion, looks decent. I like, I, I like, I really like how long the tail is. I like the way the feet are positioned. And, and I like the torso, uh, but I'm not really that big on the, uh, on the arms, because I think they're a little bit too small. And looking at it right here... I, I can't see the black painted onto the claws, but that might just be because of the angle that I'm at, and since I can't see the other arm. So then let's focus on the face. I think the face is decent. It's a uh, it, it's a bit too thick for my thick, really thick, for my tastes, because because I personally prefer my my gigas to have very slim snouts. <coughs> Like the Eofana one, the Safari one, and but 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 for some reason, Slight has this obsession with giving Gigas very 
Fix yours. How many times? How many times am I going to say "fix" in this? People are going to turn this into a meme, Adam. You know, people are going to turn this into a meme. Okay, so I think it's a decent-looking figure. I think it's the first time I saw it. I flipped out because I because this was this was the first image that I saw. For some reason, I thought it was the Papa one. And then I scrolled down and saw there were slight figures. Now I was disappointed, because I really want another Giga to go along with my Eophonic Giga. So I might end up picking this one. I probably will, because it's a Giga and I own every single slight f Giga figure. So I might end up picking it up, might not. It really all just depends. Okay, so for the second last one, we have the slight. Diablo Ceratops. At least I think it's called the Diablo Ceratops. Because there's a little thing behind it that says Diablo Ceratops, so I think I'm reading that right. But the writing is very small. Anyways, this is literally the last figure I thought Slight would make. Because Slight is normally aimed for really big and popular dinosaurs like Gigas, T Rexes, Spinosauruses. But for them actually to go out and make an obscure Ceratopsian. I respect them for that. Finally making a obscure dinosaur figure. Okay, so so now so now let's get past the fact of what this animal actually is and let's get onto the actual sculpt. I like the sculpt. It isn't really in any position, it's just it's just a position that you can use for any scenario. Like the slight triceratops, the new one, which I really like and I'll probably end up picking up. I like that figure, it's probably my favourite Ceratopsian. And I like this figure, I, I, I really like the sculpt on it, I like how big the horns are. And I just think the sculpt is decent. I do think the tail is a bit short, and it is a bit thick around the thighs. How many times am I, how many goddamn times am I going to say thick in this goddamn video? And so, and so sorry for any of you Christians out there for me saying fi for, for me saying goddamn so many times because over here in Britain goddamn is pretty much a swear word to two Christians. <clears throat> and as for the paint, I like the paint. If because if you have a look at the head, you can see a bit of orangey yellow, and I like it. And you can also see the white in the black with the, with near the horns on the crest and on the snout. I like that there, but, but as, of, as of the paint, some, the thing I don't really like is the white on the feet. But it's kind of unnecessary, and I don't think it really blends in with the design of it. I don't think we, I don't really think it blends in overall. So yeah, I think this is a, this is a pretty good figure. I probably end up I probably will end up picking it up. And next up, we have my favorite slight figure. Out of, out of the new lot, because my favourite is still that Spinosaurus, which is actually out now. I probably will end up getting it once it's out, once it's actually out in stores. But I might end up picking it up, picking it up from everything dinosaur. So I think it. So now I think we should just go with the next one before this ends up before this ends up being ten minutes long again. Okay, so here we have. My favorite, my favorite figure out of the four new figures, which is the slight. It's either a Stiggy Moloch or Draco Rex. But due to the lack of a dome on its head, I presume that it's a Draco Rex. And I like this Draco Rex. I really like this Draco Rex. Now let's first go over the paint scheme. I, I, I really like the paint scheme. I really like the purple on it. The, the purple makes it stand out. It's pleasing to my eyes. And then we have the yellow on it, which doesn't really need to be there. Then we have a little white stripe going from the chest, which isn't really necessary, but I think it's a decent addition. We also have this orange on the, uh, the orange on the top half of the face, which I really like. Then we also have a yellow on the bottom of the beak. So I like the paint scheme. I really like the paint scheme. But, uh, and now let's go into the sculpt, and now let's first mention, I think I might, the main problem with this figure might be, be, might be because of its size. Because, have you seen how, how, how big a, how, ah, how big a Pachycephosaurus is in real life? It, it, 
it, it, because there is a theory, which is pretty much confirmed at this point, that Draco Rex and Stigma Moloch are younger versions of Pegasophosaurus. And in that case, imagine how big the Draco Rex and the Stigma Moloch was. Jeez, those things must have been tiny! <clears throat> Anyways, now let's go on to the actual sculpt, which which is my main appeal to the figure. Now let's first go on about the head. I like the head. I really like the head. I like the spikes coming. Com uh, I like the spikes coming out the back of it, and the lumps. On, you can you can see all the lumps on the head. It looks very impressive. I really like it. How many times am I going to say that? And what else can I say about the sculpt? It has an open mouth, which doesn't open and close, and like that horrible Iguanodon. I mean, like, I think the Iguanodon figure is decent for Papo, but I just don't like the seam line that is left when you open and close its mouth. And I think there's decent proportions. I think the chest is the right size. I, I'm pretty sure the tail is the right size, and of course it will probably be smaller than it actually is. The arms are probably a little bit small, but those might be accurate. I don't know. I don't really know that many about Draco Rexes. Because most I know about Draco Rex is it is is it what is is it once is is it what is it one appearance in Primeval, which Matt is very inaccurate and looks way more like a dragon. So yeah, this is my favorite figure out of a lot. I will be picking this up. Especially since I actually don't have a single Paki Cephasaurid. Even though I, if, this is very similar to the one, it was either Collector or Safari Pound a few years ago, which is completely green. Now I think this is a improved sculpt and an improved paint job on the figure, and I like it a lot. And I am definitely going to get this figure once it comes out on Everything Dinosaur. Okay, so that is the end of this overview of the four new figures. And sorry if the volume was a bit loud because I just rewatched all of it and my vo my volume is very loud. It's very loud throughout it. B because I'm wearing a headset which has a microphone on it. And I'm still trying to figure out how to use the microphone and what distance to have it at to make the volume good. So, so sorry about that and... I think these are- I think this is gonna be a decent year for slides, I mean like, I mean like, the Spinosaurus is definitely the main highlight of- one main highlight of my years, along with the Collector Baryonyx. Uh, the Saf I'm trying to think- I'm trying to remember which Safari figure I liked. I can't remember which- I can't remember which Safari figure I liked. And- and all of Papo's figures, I'll try to get- I'll probably end up getting all of Papo's figures. <laughs> Okay, so this should be it for 2019, because there's going to be no more figures for Papo, and, and I don't think there's going to be any more figures for Collector and Safari. So thank you all so much for watching, my next video should be on nostalgia and, and childhood movies, or something about how to turn Dragon Free, depends on when I see the movie, because it looks incredible. If, 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 if Go watch it. Because I already know it's going to be one of the best movies of the year. So, thank you all so much for watching. And here's in Dom's XE1, Ron's Victory!